Welcome. This is another uh, video in a series of guided meditations where we work with uh, the spirit of various trees. Um, if you've seen some of the other videos that I have posted, these come from a meetup discussion where we do a monthly tree talk and uh, we choose a tree for each month where we learn a bit about that tree and then spend some time in meditation uh, meeting the spirit of that tree. Uh, you can think about this, we call them tree allies, and you can think about this as meeting with maybe the archetypal version of, say, the oak or cedar. Or, uh, as we will be doing in today's meditation, this is going to be uh, working with the spirit of maple. So, I am in uh, the Pacific Northwest, I am in Washington State, and in particular, we will be working with uh, the maple that is very prominent in our region here, which is the big leaf maple. So um, if you are watching this video from another region, you may wish to substitute a different maple um, or however else you visualize and want to work with this spirit, um, allow that to come through to you. So um, before we get started, uh, just a few few tips. Uh, make sure that this meditation is going to be about 10 minutes long, so make sure that you are in an area where you feel comfortable, where you feel like you are not likely to have any major interruptions or distractions. It may be a good idea to silence any electronic devices or just put them in the other room. Uh, you may wish to have some water beside you. And overall, just make sure that you are able to be comfortable and, like I said, undisturbed. So um, if you need a moment to get ready, feel free to pause this video. And uh, when you're ready, you can resume. Okay, so we are now going to do our meditation where we are going to meet with the spirit of maple. So to do this, just make sure that you're seated very comfortably. You can be seated or lying down. The most important thing is just to make sure that you don't have any, any strain in, in terms of pressure points or having your limbs folded in a way where maybe your foot would fall asleep. You just want to make sure you're seated naturally and comfortably. And then when you're ready, we'll just close. You can go ahead and close your eyes and start to focus on the breath. Just taking a couple of deep, relaxing breaths. And just be sure to breathe normally and very naturally for you. The only thing different that you're doing is just having an awareness of how the breath is traveling in and out. And if you can, following that path of the breath inwardly inside your body and just noticing where it lands. And if you do find that your breathing's a bit shallow, if it's comfortable for you, you can try to breathe a little bit deeper. But you don't have to. It's just important to be comfortable, relaxed, and able to focus on the breath. Now as you're breathing, try to feel and sense a point of contact where your feet touch the earth or where if you're lying down, maybe the base of your spine or some other part of your body is making contact with the ground or whatever surface you're lying on. Allow that to be an additional point of focus for you. This is what connects you to the ground to the earth below. And even if you're in a building or even high up in a building, you can still connect to the earth through this point. Allow this sensation of connection to the earth to help you feel grounded and supported in this space. And sense also above you, there is the sky stretching overhead. 
And again, even if you are indoors, you can still make this connection to the sky by visualizing the sun or the moon, clouds, whatever is above you at this time. And as you breathe, just visualize that connection with the sky above and that connection with your feet to the ground below. And all the while, breathing in and out. Be aware that there is a direction in front of you, a direction behind you, a direction to your left and to your right, and you are centered in this space. There's a direction within you as well, as you are here and now in the present, spiraling ever forward into the future. From this place of stillness, imagine now that there is a mist that is rising from all around you, rising up from the ground. It is a cool, calm, flowing mist that rises up from the ground and begins to move from, your, from the ground up towards your feet and from your feet up toward up your legs. And just visualize this mist as it continues to move from your legs up toward the trunk of your body. And it just slowly moves up the trunk of your body to your chest and shoulders, down your arms to the tips of your fingers. And just continuing to breathe, this cool, calm, flowing mist begins to move upward further up your neck, to your face and head, to the top of your crown, until you are completely enveloped within it. This cool, calm, flowing mist. And now that you are surrounded within this mist, you can open up to your own inner vision. Your eyes are closed in the physical world, but now you are able to see as the mists begin to dissipate. And in your inner vision, you realize that you are standing in the middle of a forest, a vast green space. And you are surrounded on all sides by a number of coniferous trees and ferns are growing to around knee height on either side of the dirt path that you're standing upon. You look ahead and see that the path is weaving between the trees and as you start to walk you're, you can tell that you are moving down at a very slow gentle pace moving down a slope into a small valley below. As you are walking down the path and making your way down this hillside, you begin to hear the sound of trickling water. The sound grows louder as you continue along, you can tell that there is a river nearby. And as you're walking along, the trees start to thin and the path dips down as you notice and approach the water's edge. Here at the water's edge, the coniferous trees are now replaced by a number of broad-leafed trees. Trees that enjoy growing close to the water, that thrive in this more wet and lush environment. Maybe you spy some trees that are familiar to you, alders 
willows, maybe cottonwood. But among them are a number of very large moss-covered maple trees. Their thick roots are firmly anchored along the riverbanks. In looking up, you can see their enormous broad leaves swaying in the breeze. They are just starting to turn a number of vibrant fall colors, yellow and orange hues peeking out among all the green. Just take a moment to walk along the riverbank gazing at the water and at the trees. And in addition to the peaceful sound of water trickling over the rocks, you can also hear the wind rustling through the branches of the trees and maybe pick out bird songs and other sounds of nature. as you continue to explore the space. See if one of the maple trees calls out to you or seems like a good place for you to stop and take a rest. Try to find a place where you can sit, stand, or lie surrounded by the trees and this one maple. Once you are comfortably situated, allow yourself to grow very still and wait, listening for a message from the tree. It may take some time, but be patient. Just slow your breathing and quietly observe the tree. you observe the tree, take in its presence. Pay attention for any signs of life or anything else that stands out about this tree in particular. You can talk to the tree, perhaps ask if you may touch it or ask it something about itself. Just be sure to listen and take the time needed to hear the response. In connecting with the spirit of maple, you may find your attention directed to specific parts of the tree. You may notice the roots at your feet. You may feel called to run your hands along the rough, moss-covered bark. You may find a crevice or a hole somewhere along the trunk that invites a closer look. You may notice leaves overhead or maybe see some at your feet. You may even glimpse the winged seeds ripening on the branches, getting ready for the right moment for flight. Just wait and observe with a curious eye, waiting for the messages to arrive. Allow yourself to feel the deep sense of connection and support from the tree you are standing sitting or lying near. You may wish to visualize yourself leaning against the tree or even embracing it. In making contact with the tree, imagine the roots that extend from this tree to touch the roots of each neighboring tree, which in turn are connected to the roots of far distant trees. Sense that everything here in the forest and in the natural world as a whole are connected to some degree, and that you are a part of this vast network of interconnectivity. You are a small yet vital part of this whole. As you acknowledge this deep sense of connection, take another moment to pause and reflect and see if you can discern any more remaining messages 
in the spirit of maple. You bow in respect to the wise spirit of maple and sense that it is now time for you to make your way back to where you started. Take your time to thank the maple tree for its wisdom and for its gifts. And then when you are ready, begin to walk back down the river to the path where you started. You instinctively remember the way to go. And when you find the path, you begin climbing back up the gentle slope to the woods above. Come to a point of rest and breathe in and out, feeling that as you breathe, you are taking part in an energetic exchange with the trees and the environment around you. Feel yourself maintaining that sense of connection with the land and with the forest. At this time, a cooling breeze greets you and the mists begin to roll in once more from the outer edges of your awareness. They slowly creep in around you rising up from the ground and surrounding you until once more you are enveloped within them. Allow yourself to come back to awareness of your body. You are back in your space and at this time, wiggle your fingers and your toes as needed. And when you feel ready, be sure to open your eyes. You might want to take some additional um, means of grounding yourself, making sure you're fully back in your body. You can hold on to your chair or touch the floor below you. Just make sure that you feel completely back in your normal state of being. This may be a good opportunity to journal if you have a pen and paper handy to write down any observations or anything that stood out. and. Uh, Hopefully you found that to be a relaxing experience and were able to connect with the spirit of maple. Um, as usual, I am open to, uh, I, in fact, I would appreciate any feedback or comments uh, below. And if you would like to uh, participate in one of our tree talks or just want to know more about what we do on a month to month basis, uh, feel, sure, feel free to click the link in the description below that will take you to our meetup group. We are based in the Puget Sound area uh, as the Puget Sound Forest, uh, Druid Forest Walks and Talks group. But um, especially for our virtual online meetups, we certainly welcome folks from other parts uh, of the country or even, even beyond uh, to join us. Uh, and discuss uh, what you like about trees and to do other meditations like this with us. I uh, hope that you uh, all do have a wonderful month and um, catch us again when we do another uh, meditation like this. Thank you. Bye.